Hi, I'm Brian Carter, Pro Audio Application Specialist. The new clip game feature in Pro Tools 10 brings some new functionality between Media Composer and Pro Tools. Video editors are focused on assembling video clips to tell the story, but they constantly are making adjustments to the audio volume. Now to make those volume adjustments, I simply put the cursor over the clip, and then I can use the audio mixer to make my volume changes. Now I can also use RTAS plugins, and the plugin and the setting will be exported with AAF along with any clip gain that I've done. Macau isn't just a haven for gamblers. It's a mecca for all the vices known to man. Exporting from Media Composer to Pro Tools is simple. And remember, the AAF will include clip gain, plugins, and any track settings. In previous versions of Pro Tools, when you import the AAF from Media Composer, the clip gain could either be imported as Pro Tools volume automation or simply not imported at all. Many Pro Tools editors chose the latter. With Pro Tools 10, you can directly import clip gain from Media Composer, and the clip gain stays with the clip. It doesn't have to be converted, so you can start the process of working with the audio without having to deal with any volume automation and fader movements. Now you can render the clip gain into the clip so you'll have a clean slate to start making any new volume adjustments. Or, if you don't want to keep any of the editor's volume changes, you can remove all clip gain. Now on this track, I spent a lot of time using Pro Tools volume automation. At any point, I can convert the volume automation into clip gain, so all of that dense automation is now embedded in the various audio clips. So now I can use my volume or faders on much less surgical moves. So there's so many options that it should be really easy for you to find the method that works best for your style.